We're here live. I'm on my way to the Pine Bluff for part one of Wedding Orama. We got a wedding this weekend. I'm the best man and Cameron at Jessica's wedding. The next weekend, I'm heading to Norman, Oklahoma for Adam and Leslie's. It's gonna be great. But let me tell you something. I'm, you know, I think, as far as like responsibilities go, I mean, the best man really doesn't have to do a whole lot. At, at, at least, at least the things that the best man has to do don't stress him out. You know, like the people who are actually getting married, especially the bride. Oh, man, but uh, the thing is, there's one thing that the best man is expected to do that puts some pressure on a guy, and that's the speech. Especially when you have a best man that, that doesn't like to get up in front of people. Now, you all know that that's not me, but I'm just saying, you know, that that man exists. That he would rather die at the hands of a deer that he was trying to kill, you know, say like, worst case scenario, he has to be killed by a deer instead of him kill it. He would rather that happen than to stand up in front of people and talk about his feelings. Uh, anyway, anyway, so, yeah. But even if you are a guy like me, that's a fan of being, getting attention from strangers. It's still difficult to put together because, I mean, I don't want to half-ass it, you know? I'm talking about somebody getting married and committing their, their, their lives. Some people getting married and committing themselves to each other, you know? So, I'm not saying that the uh, best man speech has to be the most memorable thing of the wedding. Because if it is... You know, then maybe you came to the wedding for the wrong reason. Because usually, usually the most memorable thing is, you know, the wedding. But, you know, and also, I'm not saying that people are going to walk away from the wedding and be like, man, you know, those are some great vows. And do you remember that uh, best man speech? Yeah, that'll stick with me for the rest of my life. No, that's not going to happen either. What I'm saying is, that it has to be good. It has, it has, you have to put thought into it. And, uh, it's not always easy because, I mean, for instance, the struggle that I have right now is the fact that Cameron is one of my best friends uh, I've ever had. And Jessica, I don't know that well, or as well, you know, even even though I consider her a good friend, and you know, and she's marrying my, my good friend, so you know, I mean, I think she's a great person. I'm just saying I don't have, I haven't built a relationship with her like I have with Cameron. So you know, I don't have anecdotes. Like when Aaron and Kim got married, I had plenty of stories to tell about both of them. You know, everybody's different, I suppose. So I don't know. Like in my speech, I guess I'm, I'm not planning to address Jessica personally, and I get well. I guess I'm not doing that with the camera either. But you know, I mean, am I supposed to? I'm probably just overthinking it. But anyway, anyway, so that there's that. You know, the best man speech is a big deal. So my advice to any of you best men out there that are making a speech, you know, put put some heart into it, give it some thought, you know, don't say things like, well, I, I've known this person for a long time, and I don't really know this person very well, but uh, I know that, that they got married today, and so everybody say good luck. You know... Especially for the bride, you want the bride to think that you have at least put more than 15 minutes uh, worth of time into your thoughts to gather them together. 
you know, don't just state the obvious and say, hey, they got married, everybody clap, you know? What is that? You know, and the thing is, the people that come to the wedding are not going to be, they're not going to remember your speech, but the speech is really for the bride and groom. And if they remember it, then you've done your job. That's, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to go with that. How about that? Anyway. That's how I feel.